Chris John for KaijuPop.com and this is Sometimes You Die on iOS. It's a uh, platform game by a German studio called Camibox. And um, yeah, a sort of an artsy platformer. Um, you we don't see any of those, uh, you know. Um, the trick with uh, Sometimes You Die, as the, as the name suggests, is that this is one of those trial by death platformers, but you know, and just the fact that you control a box, it has you thinking Super Meat Boy right away. Um, but there's a little bit of a twist in that, uh, yeah, sometimes you die, and that's what you're supposed to do uh, sometimes. So, for example, here I've met with some spikes, so I can jump over that just fine and, and ping across this, this light, turn it on. But if I fall in the spikes, um, then I die, but my corpse remains. I can do that. And then I can use my, well, I can use my prior attempts to get across and not jump at all if I don't want to. Um, so that's quite clever. And that's like, that's the main hook, I guess, for the game, uh, you could say. Um, and there's this sort of, there's this narrative going on throughout this, this commentator with the, with the jumble text in the background uh, that gets picked out one by one. Um, and yeah, this game both can be useful, so I need, I need to use uh, the spikes there to, to move on. Um, Sometimes you have to die. There you go. And yeah, gradually this narrator, as you go through the game, as you go through the eight chapters, which really doesn't take very long, uh, I've already finished this a couple of times, um, the the commentary gets gets ever more sort of there you go it gets ever more referential and um, self aware uh, you know it's kind of talking about the the nature of the games and nature of fun games as well um, it breaks the fourth wall with with gleeful abandon especially towards the end of the game and um, I'm not going to. Uh, go out my, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to spoil for you uh, what happens at the end, but um, suffice it to say, there are, just, there are eight chapters in this game that really don't take very long to, to play through, uh, so I'll stop before we get anything too, uh, before we get to anything too, too spoilerific here. Um, but, yeah, there is... A new game plus, so to speak, can I call it that? Is that too spoiler heavy? Probably not. Uh, that's not giving too much away, right? Um, and you're going to want to play through this at least twice. Um, no, so it's it's kind of talking about the nature of you know some games. It, you know, it, it toys with that. How low must the level of fun be? Um, and this kind of notion of um, you know people playing certain games and, and getting upset that oh, this isn't a game at all, um, you know, and the, the nature of, of what video game is and how kind of a, a misnomer of a term it is. Um, the problem with it is that. Uh, it's got quite a few really interesting ideas that that mm, don't really get exploited uh, quite enough. Um, I'm I'm not sure any of its ideas get exploited as as much as they need to, um, and that's kind of an issue. I think just just first of all this this idea of having to die to progress and um, you know sort of build, you know, like uh, like in this case where I have to you know, build the gap across here and then climb the wall using my uh, dead brethren. Um, I, I could just see there being far, you know, m many, many more uses of, of this concept 
um, than there actually is, and you know the the game is is less a challenging platformer and more a thing that wants to get you through it. And it only takes to say about 20 minutes to get through one time. Uh, the second time you play through, because of what happens at the end and this this new game stuff, like a new game plus stuff, like I mentioned, uh, it only takes you you know about 10. Um, so it's it's not especially challenging, even though the first time you see, perhaps if you've seen the trailer or you've got uh, some idea of what you think the game might be, um, you know, I was expecting this this really challenging uh, little platformer and didn't get that. Um, so you know, the, the only frustration is is or the only difficulty is in just like figuring out the physics of, of each thing. Like I want my square to die specifically on this spike and not the, the physics roll off it either. Um, so yeah, when you die you kind of have physics and you roll off of stuff, but um, on your next run all of these objects are just solid. And you've got to make use of that to go and then you go and then you're up here. But that's, I mean, that's kind of as difficult as it gets. Um, and so that means that this video is going to really sell the game short because I don't want to spoil um, what happens at the end too much. But um, yeah, some of the things that it does do in its, its last chapter are really, really clever. Um, and it does have a bit of an aha moment right at the end. Uh, this is fairly smart. Like I can die here and then that will trap that block in behind me and I can move through like that. Um, but yeah, I think even the ideas that it introduces later on, and it does introduce entirely new ideas later on, um, it feels A, that, that they've brought that in too soon, you know, in terms of not having um, properly exploited the ideas that are there to begin with, but um, but also, you know, the new things it, brought, it brings in, those aren't particularly exploited too well um, either. Um, you know, it seems like there's there's more creativity in its mechanics than there is creativity in its just its level design. Um, so it kind of feels like there's half of a brilliant game in here, uh, where it could be the whole of, 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 you know, what the the whole is less than the sum of its parts, basically. And what's here is is kind of only good and diverting and interesting, rather than uh, something really cool. Don't. Having said that, the game is easy. It's a different thing playing and talking about it at the same time. Go go go! go. No motivation. And there you go. Um, yeah, there's, there's not much else you can glean from this um, other than, you know, this is the yeah. idea of, of what you've got for, for a little while. Um, it does get really interesting to the end, um, at the end, but uh, I think by that point you've already made up your mind about the game. So if this is something that's mildly interesting to you, just watching it, um, then hunt down the full release for a couple of dollars, 200 yen on the App Store, and um, you'll be pleased by uh, the surprises that it has in store. Um, if this looks a little bit wankatty to you, um, then seriously, don't don't bother, because it, it doesn't get any less wankatty than this. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, mechanically it's, it's not quite as interesting as it, as it first seems. But uh, yeah, that's uh, Sometimes You Die on iOS right now. Um, stay tuned to kaijupop.com for a full written review. Chris Charlton, thanks for watching. Bye.